welcome friend so let us talk about how we can create an xml file with the help of php so what is the use of this xml file you know that xml file is used for storing data and this is you can call it like a light database because you don't need any external database connectivity there is no any third party involvement so if you are going to build some application specifically like a mobile application this is a good database that we use as xml file so let us try to work on and see how we can create an xml file with the help of php so start with php and since you know that php is server side scripting language i will be saving it in the current directory of web server so going to web server www and i will save it here say so i'm going to write write xml dot php so we are going to write this file how we can create the xml file with the help of php so first you are going to create an object create this object dom document this is the version of your php sorry xml So once you are done with it, what you need to do now, you need to create some root object of your XML file. So I'm calling it a document equal to XML create element and then give the name. What name you want to give? So you want to give name company. So write it company. And also before this, I want to do XML, then format output, output equal to true, because I want to format the output in the form of proper XML, and we can also have Space out of white space equal to false. This is just for uh, formatting. So we have created this element, and what we will do now in XML append child, and you are going to make this as the child of your xml and then let us see if i echo and dot xml and i will write here save xml dot closing of this so let's save it and let us try to run it so you have to make sure that your web server is working so just add local host and try to save so you see you can see that some file has been created here so you can see that this is the output the file has been created for you now what we'll do we'll keep on adding some new elements now so i will write a imply imply equal to then again you are going to create element and then give it name employee. Now employee is the 
child of company so you can write that mm, company append child and you are going to append it with employee then you can have some name is okay department whatever so we are going to take some more here. so name equal to again you create xml and you write here create element so you are going to give it name and you want to assign some value so you write that value here, something like john and put it there and append your employee so i'm going to write employee sorry employee append child append child and then you write here uh, appending child with name make sense so we are going to create an element and then we are going to update it so control c create some more so one more say i'm going to write here age and then you are going to write some age here so age is if it is just a number you can write here. number here say age is 25 and then append it with age and you can take some more so taking say department so create department i'm going to write d e p t and here i'm going to write any department say computer and again update your employee with department so that way we have created one object now if you want to create more objects what we need to do we need to copy this whole stuff once again this whole thing the creation of employee till the end of this department so copy and paste it underneath here so that will be a second object saving employee name now i will give you name jessica oh my computer should have been eight so let me write it eight yes so age and then department i'm going to write now my resource so this way you save it now and press your preview again so refresh it you see you are getting that beautiful output in the form of xml but this has not been saved as an xml file so how we can save this whole document as an xml file so you just write here xml then save and inside this you give any name so i'm going to write here uh, company dot xml and it should save the whole record so let us see now I run it so you are getting the same output now the only thing we need to see whether this file has been created or not so what we can do we can try to open that file so open that file here somewhere have been created this is the company you can see here this is the one we created right now and you see this file has been stored beautifully so this way we can create a file xml file with the help of php in the next class we will talk about how we can read the file and how we can change it